Hey, Mom. Sometimes I even feel bad for saying those words. I think when I was really young, I didn't want your attention, and I wanted you to be proud of me, but by the time I started going to school, I began wishing I had a different mother. I just didn't know why. I think I actually believe that it will be better to have no mother because I was convinced they were all like you. Do you remember when I was watching TV? No, that's true. You can't remember. You didn't know. I couldn't tell you. used to, when you were at the hospital, and when I was a kid, I was watching TV, you know, my dad was, um, my dad was in the kitchen, just being distant because he doesn't, he doesn't know what love is, receiving love, you know? And because I I just remember not knowing why it was such a need as a kid, but I just imagined Arnold Schwarzenegger calling me, hugging me so tight. I really had this fantasy of him having me in his arms. And I remember then. It's just because nobody cuddled me, nobody told me they loved me. I haven't seen you in my many years because I had to stop talking to you many years before you died. And because but you used to tell me again that all the abuse you created, all the times that you forced me with a knife to go with you, hmm? to sleep in the same bed as you with those guys. It's still very blurry. I still don't remember. But until the last day, he said I was guilty. The morning, that I never really had. Was the one of you and the mother I never had. And even though you're gone, you still appear in my nightmares every night. A door slam every time. And I started having panic attacks. Because that's what he did every time. He wanted me to eat in my bedroom. Every time someone talks loud, I have panic attacks. Because that's the only thing that you kept doing. I couldn't speak on the phone to you. Because your voice your words shook me to the core of my body and you kept me guilty of everything even me breathing I hated you for making me hate you for hating myself and filling me with such sadness and rage you caused me to hate myself for making me believe I am nothing but because that's what you told me my life. 
would love to tell you you're a violent, cruel person, that would, I am ashamed of you, but I know that you suffered. Was that a reason for you to do so? No. What you did was very wrong, and I told you before you died, but I also told you It was okay. That he could go. Even though you were so sick. Even though you were so sick. That he couldn't remember me. You had dementia because of the sickness, but I knew that your subconscious knew who I was. And I told you that no matter what happened, it was your time and I knew it. And I just wanted you to be in peace. And two hours later, you were gone. I would have nothing. I would have no gain. If I had to tell you I hated you or something. Because I have no gain from that. Because I know that she wanted to win. And have power. Because you never received love yourself in your life. But still, I know we had fights. I know that you were very cruel to me all your life. Oh God. Everything is so hard. You made me feel guilty for all the approval I was looking for. People dance on the police car, but me, it was on a stage. Crying because for once people were loving me. For the bad reasons. It was not a good way to do so. The weight is pretty way, pretty big. I'm terrified of people. That's what you left in me. And I know that you're gone. I don't want to be anything like you. In the past, being in your presence or even hearing from you me to be sick in any way possible. I used to starve because of what you did to me. Uh, when you locked me in your, my, my room, huh? when you locked me in my room, <sighs> 17 times. 17 times I tried to kill myself. I remember once that you told me that I should do it. Because the biggest mistake of your life was me being born. Remember? Remember that?
it's no wonder I feel anxious around food, around the smell of burning toasts, because it remembering me punches in my face. Food felt like a violation to any piece I managed to find, a violation to my body. I couldn't control you, I couldn't protect myself, so I controlled food. Felt my body, I longed for escape. I learned to dissociate at an early age. I could leave my body anytime I wanted, and it was a blessing. I wasn't that person with the mean mother. I don't need you anymore, but I'm managing, I'm managing to learn how to live without you and the destruction that you left in me. I'm never gonna hate you. I'm always actually about to say that's the worst part. That's not the worst part. Worst part is that you left on Abby. Destroyed. But that's not my problem. You expected me to be your mother that you never had. But me, nobody was there for me. I have to take care of myself now and be happy. That's not an easy task when you're left alone. Nobody learned you anything. Just tell I'm telling you that. So...